Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back to kick off round 2 for Group E. Oh, I'm feeling energised now, so yes, we're going to do round 2 for Group E today. And this could be some interesting matchups, because at first we got a clash at the top between Dino Smash and Alpha Trooper. And then we'll have Slifer Sky Dragon X taking on Jeremy Blue Scott. And then we will conclude with Xeno Slick Goku going up against Shin Dominus. So, enough diddy dallying, let's get on with our first matchup. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Dino Smash, we got a Kakiradontosaurus, and I am going to try and restrain myself from saying Kaka. <laughs> uh, I'm sure we all know where I got that from. <coughs> Beaver. <laughs> alright, alright, yes. In the blue corner for Alpha Trooper, we got an Iguanodon. An Alpha Iguanodon, that is, and for some reason everyone wants this thing to die. I mean, that's not nice. It's got feelings as well. You bloody uncultured humans, you horrible people, wishing death upon this innocent Iguanodon. I know it's got like a green evil eye, but, you know, the cut. Look at the Kakirodontosaurus, it's got a red eye. The red eye is symbol symbolization of evilness. Um, I don't know who's going to win this match, to be honest. <laughs> Felt like the love art's coming up there. Oh, that's a good start from Alpha Trooper. Alpha Trooper got just the start they wanted last time. And it looks like they're going to get a big foot assault off again this time. Yeah, look at that. Decent damage done. Good start from Alpha Trooper. Ooh, there's a tie. Oh, another tie. Alpha Trooper still has the lead, though. Well, Alpha Trooper is going in 1 0 after a consecutive amount of time. Uh, why, why can't this happen when I use my Kamarasaurus? I would love for this to happen when my Kamarasaurus comes into play. I get off Ocean Panic, I get off everything. I just insta-win, basically. Okay then, as for Dino Smash's second Dino, we got a Pentaceratops, and oh my god, I'm s after recording Group D and C, I'm pretty sick of the sight of this thing. It's like the fourth Pentaceratops I've seen in this bloody tournament. <laughs> and they're all bunched up together. But it is where it is. Can this Pentaceratops get a Guana get the um, Dino Smash back in this match? Although Alpha Trooper doesn't have that big of a lead. There's a tie. Can we not have a tie? Can this please be paper or scissors? <laughs> I just thought this is ridiculous. How many ties have we had? Oh my god, another tie. I mean, this kind of helps Alpha Trooper as well, because it's chipping away at the Pentaceratops. Alright, well. After about another 10 million ties, the Alpha Iguanodon is going down. Right then, as for Alpha Troop the second, I know we got Super Baryonyx. It's probably going to need the Awaken mode because this Baryonyx does have the tight disadvantage against that Pentaceratops. Even though Pentaceratops' HP is pretty much half, I still think the Barry will probably need two or three hits to kill it. So it might not even get to away from mode, we just have to see. Well, it's going to be all ties, probably. Hey! It's not a tie! Pentaceratops getting a hit there. It wasn't a lightning move, though. But there's the elemental power. That helped the Pentaceratops last time against Shin Dominus. And, well, it's definitely going to help against the Barry, because it's got the tight advantage. Oh, back to ties again. Oh, the Barry gets a crucial hit. It's a tragic sphere. Alpha Trooper holding on to his lead here. But yeah, look at that. Ooh, this could be interesting because it's going to be awakening time for the Barry. So I think... Well, the Pentaceratops is... Yeah, Pentaceratops is dead. This, ha this actually happened last time for Alpha Trooper. Got off a shockwave just before the awaken mode. And it's happened again. It's a tie, but... Yep, the Pentaceratops going down, and the Awaken mode will be saved as well. How big could that be for Alpha Trooper? 
Right Dio then, as for Dino Smash's third Dino, we got a Uteraptor. This Uteraptor is more the attacking variety, as you can see here. I mean, look at that, almost a full tilt Uteraptor, just missing that hurricane beat. However, it's gotta get past this Super Barry first. Oh, he got the hit! Uteraptor again off a biting win! Did not a chance missed from Alpha Trooper there. The Baryonyx, the Super Baryonyx, gets hit. Alpha Trooper still has the lead, but that was definitely a chance miss there to land some major damage and maybe even kill the Uteraptor. Although, the Baryonyx does get off a tragic sphere, so Alpha Trooper will be landing some damage with his Barry on this Uteraptor. Oh, back to the ties again. Alpha Trooper won't mind that though. The Baryonyx does in fact go down, but the Uteraptor is probably within one hit away from being killed by the Megalosaurus, which is Alpha Trooper's third dino yet. Didn't see too much of it in the first matchup because he basically came in several ties, got a hit and then won. Bing. Can Alpha Trooper close this out, or can Dino Smash can make a comeback? Ooh, it's a hit from the Uteraptor. Dino Smash not beaten yet. Oh, doesn't usually lag when I do bite down. Oh, look at that, decent damage done. Ooh. Zero G throw has been triggered, but it's not activated. It's a ninja attack. Dino Smash coming back into it. And, well, Mike Alpha Trooper securing himself a, at least a losing bonus point. But now that the secret move has been triggered. Oh, no longer. Oh, Dino Smash! The comeback from the Dino Smash, defeating Alpha Trooper with the Uteraptor. Well, first thing first, first thing that comes to mind, the Baryonyx. While in awaken mode, failed to get the hit. That I think was the turning. That I think was the turning point. If Alpha Trooper had got that hit off, he would have won this match. Probably even got a probably would have got a bonus point because the Baryonyx got off another hit. I felt that was the turning point. But yes, it's a win for Dino Smash, coming from behind to defeat Alpha Trooper. But Alpha Trooper will get a losing bonus point, as I said earlier. So, you know, there's a consolation prize. Right, the O then. That's one match down, two to go. Our next match sees Slifer Sky Dragon X taking on Jeremy Blue Scott. All right, the then. In the red corner for Slifer Sky Dragon X, we have Super U Sent Resource. Slifer Sky Dragon X got off to a not a good start last time out against Xeno Slick Goku, hoping to make up for that in this matchup. Well, this could be an interesting match because in the blue corner for Jeremy Blue Scott, our rogue, we have the Strepta Spondylus. Jeremy Blue Scott with his team full of wind dinosaurs hoping to do well in this tournament. Well, it could have done with a win in his first match against Alpha Trooper, but didn't get it. This will be a tough, much tougher test though, because Slifer Sky Dragon X does have a fire dinosaur. And it's not any, not any old fire dinosaur. Gygas with the armor. So yes, Jeremy Blue Scott's going to have to be careful here. And that's not the start he would have wanted. You Centrosaurus getting the first hit. And it's an electric charge. Just once. Ooh. You struck the Spondylus does strike back. And it's a critical block. Interesting. Counter Blitz has been triggered though. Twice. Okay, so you struck the Spondylus will be going Skizzards. Can't go rock. We can't go rock. Ooh, it'll be a tie. The counter blitz will expire. Ooh, 
strip the Spondylus. No, you Centrosaurus getting another hit off there. Okay, that's three times. Next round, it'll be Awakening time. Ooh, and it is going to survive. That you strip the Spondylus going down. Slifer Sky Dragon X has the 1-0 lead. Alright, as for Jeremy's second dino, we got an Allosaurus Atrox. Okay, now I have concerns here for Jeremy because he's already behind. The Eucentrosaurus has hardly been hit. And he's got, to get a, he's got a Gigas to deal with. This is not looking good for Jeremy. And this as Eucentrosaurus will be awakened soon. And if Slifer Sky Dragon X gets a hit then, then I, then I really fear for Jeremy in this match. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, a much needed crit from the Atrox. Well, provided I get this bright, we will not be seeing the Awaken mode from the Eucentrosaurus. It's an Air Raid Storm coming. Badoosh. Yep, I got it right. Your Centrosaurus is going to be biting the big one. Boosh! Smash in the air. Like you just don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, look at that. Allo Atrox pulling it back for Jeremy. But here's the big threat for Slifer Sky Dragon X. It's Gygas. With the Spectral Armor, of course. And already this thumbnail looks like it's going to be a bloody nightmare to do. <laughs> Ugh. Yes, what I am actually doing now is, is saving screenshots of the armored dinosaurs in the different arenas so I don't have to cycle through each arena to pick them out. I mean, I only have to do it when, like, if this guy just dies before we see the armor or Slifer wins before we see the armor. I only have to do it because of that. Those kind of things. It's a tie. Another tie. Another time maybe? Ooh, Aloatrox getting a hit. It's a tornado toss. It won't do too much damage to Gygas because Aloe's paper and scissors moves are quite weak in comparison to its crit. And it, and it has a type disadvantage as well. Yeah, look at that. Hardly any damage to Gygas. But Jeremy Blue Scott pulling it back. Well, he was pulling it back. But... Is a fire cannon from Gygas, and this will all but definitely kill the Atrox. Well, it should kill it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Alright then, as for Jeremy's third dino, we have a Super Ceratosaurus. The Awaken mode will be right away, which is going to be really interesting to see. And it's got all wind moves as well, so again, it's going to be really interesting to see how this thing fares against Gygas. Well, if he gets a hit while in while the Awaken mode is on, then, you know, he's back in the match. But if he doesn't, then Slifer Sky Dragon X is probably going to get a bonus point for him. And it's looking like Slifer Sky Dragon is going to get a bonus point for him. Poison as well. We might actually see the Spectral Army. This is, this is it for Jeremy. It's win or bust. Ooh, a tie! Oh, it's Spectral Armor tie! We are gonna see it! I, I, I wasn't expecting it, I gotta enter the codes real quick. Get the codes, get the codes, get the codes! Alright, here we go, it's Spectral Armor tie! Well, it, it all comes down to this, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, this is intense! Oh, it's Spectral Lancer! I think the Serato might survive because of the Awaken mode. It might survive. But, yeah. I think Slifer Sky Dragon X is going to win this match. Oh, it does survive. But the Awaken mode is gone and Slifer Sky Dragon X on the brink of a bonus point win. And there's the bonus point. No surprise. No, no real surprise there. Gygus causing Jeremy Blue Scott all sorts of problems. 
Cypher Sky Dragon X. Getting back to winning ways here with a bonus point win over Jeremy Blue Scott. And as for Jeremy Blue Scott, things not looking good for him in this tournament. Alrighty then. On to our third matchup, which sees Xeno Slick Goku taking on Shin Dominus. Okay, before we start this match, I may have a slight confession to make about the last matchup. I did make a mistake on the um, on that matchup, where instead of Slifer Sky Dragon X getting the next hit after the Spectral Answer, it should have been a tie. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly after this match generate some moves and then see what would have happened. So, if Slifer Sky Dragon X will do the tie. Actually, maybe because of Serato's health was so low, I think a tie would have killed it anyway, so. Hmm. I'll, have a, I'll have a quick look back at the video and decide what to do. But yeah, that was a bit. That was. <laughs> I, I, that was a mistake on my bad. But anyway, back to this matchup. We have. Zeno's Pentaceratops going up against Shin Dominus's Tajongosaurus. Tajongosaurus should have the type of matchup advantage in this matchup here. In fact, I feel like Shin Dominus does have the upper hand in this match in terms of type advantage. So Zeno's gonna have to watch his tail here. Good chance for Shin Dominus to get off the mark in this tournament. Zeno slip Goku game. Gained an impressive win against Slifer Sky Dragon X in this first matchup. Oh, it's a tag team! There's the tag team, the Tajonosaurus getting off a hit. Ooh, got a Pentaceratops striking back. A light recovery incoming. Or is this actual recovery? Okay, it's a light recovery. Ooh, a crit from the Pentaceratops. Oh, look at that damage. Decent amount of damage dealt there. Of course, this Pentaceratops doesn't have any lightning move triggered yet, so not affected by the type disadvantage, but the Tijonosaurus does get off a hit there. And we're quite le well, we're level, actually. Ooh, another hit from Tijonosaurus. Has Shin Dominus secured the lead? Well, he has the lead, but it's not a 1 mil lead. However, it will now be a 1 mil lead to Jonosaurus finishing off Pentaceratops. Shin Dominus having a 1 mil lead. Alrighty then, as for Xeno's second dino, we have a Karanosaurus. The hunter type ability could come in handy here. Sigoi! Although the Tajongosaurus is on such low health, I don't think the extra damage is going to matter. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, that's Ooh, but the Tajongosaurus is getting off a cheeky little hit there. Oh, that's a tie. Finally, that's our first tie of this match. And the Karanosaurus takes down the Tajongosaurus. And we are le pretty much level packing. Alright, as for Shin Dominus' second dino, we have a Sorofaganax. Both of our combatants have Sorofaganax in their team. But Shin Dominus' is very much the full tilt Sorofaganax. Actually, I think both of these might both of these Sorofaganaxes might be full tilt. But which one will use this better? I should point out that Shin Dominus does have Bronticons in their team, which will have the type advantage over Xeno's Sorofaganax, should it get to that matchup. Ooh, Karanosaurus though. Getting off a two platoon crush. And this is going to crush the ribcage of the Sorofaganax and leave some major damage behind. Boosh. And smash. Yeah, look at that. Loads of damage. Hunter type will be a factor now for the Karanosaurus as well. Ooh, a tie though. A tie. Another tie. 
Dash Indominus. Well, had the lead, but now has it no more. Well, he's gonna retake the lead. The firebomb coming. Both of our dinosaurs got off big crits, but the Thorofaganax's crit is going to kill Karanosaurus. Oh, bless it. Oh, bless it. Like, twitched and his arm was phasing through its body. Oh, it's horrific. All right, then. as for Zeno's third dino, we have, well, yeah, you guessed it, a Sorofagonax. This one's almost a full tilt, but instead of burning dash, it has recovery, so... Might need that recovery. Especially if it gets hit by a firebomb. Oh, that's a tie. Can Shin Dominus get a cheeky hit? The answer to that is no, and well, a bit overkill here, but Firebomb coming in to finish off the Sorofaganax and even the score. It's quite an even match, but I feel like that's going to end here because Shin Dominus' third dino is Bromptikins. Bromptikins will have the type advantage over the Sorofaganax, and I think that is going to be key here. And yet, a full tilt Bromptikins here. Hydro Cutter from Turbo Cannon and a bit of Aqua Whip. Ooh, we start with a Tide Hug. Maybe Tide. Well, I don't know actually. Bronte Kings didn't take that much damage. Another Tide. That bar will fill up. Will we see Spectral Armor? Well, we might if we keep getting ties. Or maybe not. It's Aqua Whip time for Shin Dominance. This should, well, it could kill the Sorofaganax, and I think it will. Yes, it will. Brontokins giving Shin Dominus the win. Yeah, I, I wasn't really too surprised there. The Sorofaganax did was at a tight disadvantage, and at that point, one crit from the uh, Bronthikins was going to finish the job. But yeah, right. I'm going to have a look. We're going to have a look at the table. But before we do that, I am going to quickly double check the second matchup to see what would have happened. Yeah, Group E looking in, and I should point out that yes, the, I would. I am about ninety nine percent convinced that that Ceratosaurus would have died in the tie anyway. So. Yes, I am happy to give Slifer Sky Dragon X the bonus point win there. I think a tie would have killed us Ceratosaurus. So I am happy to give Slifer Sky Dragon X the bonus point win, as I said there. So they, they will move up to four points. But Dino Smash is up top on seven. And then, as, as I just said, we have Alpha Trooper and Slifer Sky Dragon X on four points. Xeno Slick Goku and Shin Dominus on three points there. And Jeremy Blue Scott still on the solitary point, but... Look how tight group E is. One win for Jeremy Blue Scott and they're right back in the mix. And their next opponent is going to be... Ooh, it's going to be against Shin Dominus. Could be a big game that could be at the bottom. Then we will see Alpha Trooper against Slifer Sky Dragon X. And then Dino Smash taking on Xeno. So yeah, that's going to end this session. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you don't miss out on future tournament matches. Until we start round two for group F, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.